And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Azir. We're going to be playing a more aggressive deck now with Sharima going over to Demacia for our splash region because Demacia is going to be able to give us additional attacks and just other things that are really good in combat. And both of our champions, Azir and Sivir, really want to be in combat. They want to be attacking, right? Sivir loves attacking with a quick attack. It has spell shield to protect it. And Azir wants you to be attacking because you get those sand soldiers each time. And if we get enough um, units in play, then we get to be leveling up Azir. So with Demacia, we get some Relentless Pursuits in there. Um, and then we also get some scouts. We're only playing Genevieve Elmhart for the scout, but it's a really strong scout with that. Um, our other allies getting that plus one, plus one this round. It has the scout challenger, so we can get the additional attack with Azir. Um, but then we just got good cards kind of everywhere, right? Like that we're not like going all in on, um, you know, making sand soldiers. We're not going all in on the rally effects. Um, not really going all in on anything. We're just playing good quality cards among the curve. We're going to be a good curve out deck, right? Like we have two great one drops with Doomkeeper, Fleet Feather Tracker. At two, we got Bright Steel Protector to help save stuff and Chronomancer to help us find our champions. Um, at three, besides Azir, we're going to have Protege because Protege, um, there's a lot of small aggro decks right now. And so at two, four, matches up well against um, a lot of people playing smaller units. And then it also has that challenger that can take down smaller units and survive. And um, like this kind of card, like Protege is something that even if you don't have like the best attacks, depending on what their board is, you can probably find something small to challenge and attack with it and get a Sand Soldier attacking. Uh, let's see. And then Ruin Runner. Ruin Runner has been awesome. It's Overwhelm, it's Spell Shield, it's huge. This should pair well um, with our top end also. A couple of Siphoning Strikes for whenever we have Sivir, Ruin Runner, or Genevieve. Because we want to we want to deal 35 damage to level up Sivir. And so Siphoning Strike helps that. It helps kill their champions. And they can even grow our Azir and Sivirs with the plus two, plus two. Pretty awesome removal. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Sivir Azir will go play our five games in ranked. Ooh, another Sivir deck. But they're playing LeBlanc. They have a lot of champion mastery with their two champions. All right, so I'm going to mulligan the six mana card, but I'm going to keep the rest. I could see maybe mulliganing the sharp side, but we don't have that many spells in our deck. Uh, we have the attack token turn one. Let's definitely play this. I have my orders. Always Moving into sight. Yeah, Doomkeeper pretty great. All right, so we dealt four damage for Sivir. Oh, we only summoned one unit? Was that not summoning two units? Does Doomkeeper only count as one? I would think it would count as two. Hmm. Not a champion. I guess Bright Steel Protector. Oh, wow. Can't block. The Emperor commands. The land obeys. Turn it like so. Can't block is rough. So, Azir is six. Four, five... Six. Huh. I wonder why it's six. Should it be seven? I guess I can't play Sivir. They're they're definitely attacking, right? Like you can't you can't like not attack with a reckless Trifarian. So we can wait till after damage and then play Sivir. Camp block is maybe a little unplayable right now with how fast these decks are, these Shurima decks. I don't think you can do camp block. 
Kindred. So this could be just like the deck we were playing. They're not playing Ezreal. Um, but it could be the same type of deck. I like this hand. We'll keep it. I could see mulliganing the Flea Feather Tracker. Maybe I'm supposed to do that, but it's hard mulliganing one drop, so maybe I should do that. I probably should, because I want to keep the two mana for sharp side available anyway, so I probably should just be mulliganing the Flea Feather Tracker. So did that count as one or two? Yeah, why does that only count as one? For Azir, like we that's summoning two different things. I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. If I save it, it only goes to one health and it's not worth saving at one health. It's not about slaying. Azir is summoning, right? Like, you've summoned 10 units. Oh, because now it, now it says 3. Okay, so maybe it is just bugged that it takes a little bit of time to show up. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. Okay. So, yeah, because now it says 4, which is the correct number of what it should say. So yeah, I'd, I definitely should have mulliganed this Flea Feather Tracker. But oh well, it's... My shield is yours. No, I'm not playing around Ruination. It's a good sign. And it's a good sign that, that you know, no ruination because they play that. Six mana. So this is going to grow Sivir to be 7 power. Hope they don't have Vengeance. Okay. Ooh. So that's two Ledros they've discarded. You would think that they have a third Ledros in hand if they've already discarded two, because it's just it's just two turns, Ledros kills me. So, you know, maybe they don't have another Ledros though. Right now. Things a two form. So this is just gonna do one damage five times randomly. That's kind of a bad thing to play against Star Scarthane stuff. And if, if we got lucky and got four out of the five there, you know, like direct damage, that would be nice. But we can't really go on that. Because this only disables keywords, so this shouldn't stop the Dreadway from killing me, as far as I know. Get another thing with a ton of health. I can't get through. Yeah, I, I can't get through.
Well, I really hope that last card isn't also Ledros. I sure hope so. Please don't be Ledros. It is? Are you kidding me? Just have all three? Because they've, they've already discarded two. Okay, they, they missed. They missed. The 60 percenter, they missed. I mean, I guess I gotta play this to make it. This levels up Sivir. And so, therefore, my other cards get Sivir's keywords. With the quick attack. And spell shield. Okay, so they've, they've used all three Ledros. Awesome. So I feel pretty good about this one. There we go. Got the win. Awesome. Well, that was pretty cool. That looked bad when they played the Ledros, but uh, they missed. We got the 40% chance. Yeah, make sure you have Zenith Blade and try Vox. Ooh. Kindred with Aphelios. This is going to be nasty. Alright, Dune Keeper on turn one. Perfect. Um, the rest of these look pretty good. I like how we can ha have Ruthless Predator can help us take down these champions that are going to be super good. Yeah. Sivir's super cool. Is she, like, doing push-ups or something? I guess she's, she's dodging lasers. I like how her, her foot's, like, on this thing over here. Like, that's a nice little touch. Oh, stop. The desert by my side. Oh, she's climbing? <laughs> the Laura, the Laura Croft feels. She's climbing. Okay. Okay. I thought she was like do dodging lasers. That's what I thought. Stop. Get out of here. Okay, there we go. Rude. I know I have Destiny blocked on my caller ID. What kind of two drop they got? Is there a good Shadow Isles two drop or are they just doing the regular Targon ones? That's what I thought. Yeah, she's the Indiana Jones of League of Legends. That makes sense. <laughs> she's trying to avoid the death ray. I gotcha. Yeah, just lame. The lame Targon 2 drops. I would like to play the Ruin Raider. But I think I just gotta go to attack in. Gotta try to kill. 
Ol' Aphelios over here. They still have so many cards, man. Aphelios gives you so many cards. Oh, you're dead. All right, zero's at eight. Without the other. I don't like it. So I guess I need to do both Ruthless Predator and Quicksand to take down this Kindred. Oh wait, so I guess I don't have to give that plus two plus zero. Well, maybe I do. putting in work. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be lethal or not. We'll have to kind of see what they got. I think I want to attack here. And hope all these things kill them. They have like withering will. That would be bad. Really hope they don't. Just take it all. Game over, please. Please just take the damage. Take the damage. All right, that doesn't save them yet. Because we got three, six, nine. Okay, so that puts them to 20. That probably saves them. So that's 9 plus 4 is 13 plus 6 is 19. Oh, I have 19 damage. Oh, no, 18? Never mind, I guess I have 18. Oh, because this one's a 1. Sorry, this one's 1 power. What? They just have Curse Keeper in their deck? What? They, that's the two-drop they want Aphelios to get? What? I guess we're doing this for Kindred? IDK. Well, it's true, it works with Kindred. It doesn't work that well with Kindred. Gross. Okay, maybe grabbing this rally was too greedy. I was yeah, I was thinking I was gonna have the Azir champion spell here also. That was not a good turn for me. Their pride will cost them. No, I haven't uh played Lucian in this kind of deck yet. Uh this Relon's pursuit looking real bad.
that was yeah, that was a bad bad choice by me. These woods belong to us. Man, great. Great last two turns though for them. Awesome awesome interaction and everything. The nine mana obliterate two and then vengeance. Yeah, that was a uh, that was very impressive. So I, I should have taken Laurent Protégé instead of that card. This went really poorly. That went very poorly. Now it's okay, speaking of Azir and Lucian, that's going to be our next deck to face. So we'll see how we do with Sivir. This hand looks great. Love having multiple Doom Keepers. One of the best cards in our deck for sure. Okay, good. Not Doom Keepers. Siphoning Strike could be pretty interesting, paired with Sharp Sight. There's a kill in the air. The Emperor commands. The land obeys. Azir's command. If I... If I don't play the other one, you know, I can have Sharp Sight available, but... I think it's worth playing them both. So now Lucian's at one health, which is very good for my Azir. So that'll be one for Lucian. Lucian's still a little ways away from leveling up, just being at one. Challenge and Lucian. You dare. So why did that thing get plus three plus one? Do they not? They don't have a. Do I not? I guess I don't understand what this card does. Okay, it's just if you've summoned a landmark this game. I thought you had to have a landmark in play. I guess I didn't know what that card did, I guess. Slow down, will you? Hopefully no sharp sight. You can deal with the plus three plus one, but hopefully no sharp sight. Oh, come on. Yeah, I guess I'd... Yeah, that's good. Gross. I, I mean, I played into the sharp side. I was didn't have to play that right there. I, was, I guess I was too greedy. Keep your distance. I mean, resolve and blocks soldiers isn't 
Yeah, it's not good. It's like what I have to do, but it's not good. This is not good. This game's probably a loss. They had that sharp sight, um, but you know the plus three plus one card also. Like just the combination of just those two were awesome. They're they both perfect. can't get any I can't get any power yeah it's like they have a lot more power than I do just bigger stuff I can't find any of my bigger stuff you know we drew none of our four fives or sixes and no power I know it'd be nice to play those on defense Six. But I need to have these three power blockers out there. Stand down. Nine. No, I've not played a Lissandra Talia landmark deck, no. So when bigger they had their they had a four drop and a six drop and they drew three champions. Like that's just the difference in this game. Besides the two combat tricks, just the four drop, the six drop, and two champions. You know, I don't think they're playing more four drops or six drops or champions than I am. But they had those cards and I did not. I just kept drawing two drops. These last two games have shown why I really dislike Relentless Pursuit. <laughs> we have... Um, yeah, just drawing the Relentless Pursuits in the late game. Um, okay, so this is an all-in Fiora deck. So what are we going to do against all-in Fiora? Do we... I kind of think maybe I don't actually keep the Dune Keeper because Dune, they kill Dune Keeper easily. And we maybe have to just keep things that at least have three power. Or three health or whatever. Like things that they don't get to just kill for free. Thank you, Tibbs. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're but Azir doesn't... Azir doesn't seem like it matches up well here. Right? Because, like, we make Sand Soldiers, but they just eat up Sand Soldiers for free with... Fiora. Maybe they... Yeah, maybe they don't draw Fiora. That's my best chance this game, is that they didn't draw Fiora. Nope, they had Entreat. I long for a worthy opponent. Okay. So they're going to be able to kill a Sand Soldier anyway. Love that draw.
I don't... I don't know exactly how I'm going to be doing this. Alright, well, Fiora's at 2 health. Yuck. Not looking great for me. But we got this quicksand, so... We'll see. Oh, the minus four doesn't even matter! Yeah. Fiora is so difficult to play against, but that's that's a good hand, you know. Like that's that's how that deck wins. Do you have Fiora plus all spells? Uh, you don't all like with that deck. You don't always draw Fiora, but that's perfect against like my little little attackers. But that's a difficult card to play against. It's a really difficult one to play against. You know, maybe I shouldn't play Azur. Maybe I shouldn't play Dune Keeper. It wasn't really like my plan to play Azur or Dune Keeper. Um, but then, you know, like, they pass on turn three, and you don't always have Fiora immediately, right? And so, um, I'm, I'm hoping that they don't, and so I play the Azur because you need to get, like, as much damage in as possible as fast as you can, because once they draw the Fiora, it makes life really difficult, but they did have Entreat, so they did have Fiora, so now my Azur looks really bad. Um, and so then I, and then I just, it just compounds, then I play the Dune Keeper, just gives them more things to kill. Um, yeah, and, uh... Yeah, but they did have Fiora, and then there goes the Troll Chance Elixir of Irons, single combat. You know, it's, it's just it's difficult to uh, difficult to defeat that deck with just small small units, and you know we we just don't have very many spells. And um, yeah, they they had a hand that was awesome. Um, so there we go. That was Sivir Azir. Um, I was probably mispronouncing that. Sorry. Sivir Azir. Um, the the game that I really... Uh, I don't know. So, like, those last two... You know, so I, I kept on playing... Like, so maybe if I... I don't even know, like, if I just wait and... Like, I don't think Genevieve Elmhearts just saved me if I just only play Genevieve Elmhearts. I don't think I'm going to win that one. Um, the... So th those last two losses were ones that, like, I feel like I could have done a... Like I could have done different things. I feel like I could have, but it's just I don't I don't know if any of them would have actually anything that I would have done would have actually ended up me winning. The Lucian Azir that we played in round four um, just honestly drew a lot better than me with the the two champions and the four drop and the six drop, and I just couldn't you know I didn't have I didn't have any of my larger things. No protege, no Sivir, no Ruin R Runner, no Genevieve. I did I did play a very greedy siphoning strike and that really cost me. They had the one card that saved their thing. Um, maybe I could have done something better with the Ruthless Predator, or maybe I could have done something better with the siphoning strike. Like that's that's what um you know, I regret those moves, but um, sometimes they sometimes your opponents just got it. Um, this is a deck where you can play a ton of different cards. I there's a lot of different ways to go with this. You can go more Demacia style, or you can even go more um, more Sharima style. You you can really take this kind of deck a lot of different ways. It's it's a difficult one to build for sure. There's just so many options. I hated Relentless Pursuit. Relentless Pursuit cost us a couple of games. Uh, we how we just didn't get to you know like it was just a dead card in hand in like games that we were like we just needed another threat or needed some kind of interaction. Um, so I, I don't know if I'd really want to play that. I th I kind of think that if I was playing this deck more, I, I think I'd want to go with just more Sharima cards, honestly. I've been very impressed with the Sharima cards, and in particular this one right here, this draw champion granted plus two plus two has been awesome. Like, you know, just in the in the Azir Rennington deck, this card was just incredible. And I think I'd maybe want to just go more Sharima, play that. Um, but with that being said, I love Protégé. But, you know, you don't really need Tracker. Um, and you know, of course, Bright Steel Protector. You can you can play a two drop from the other region. But I, I do love Protege in this meta game, and Protege was pretty good for us. Um, but um, 
yeah, I think I think there's a lot of good things to do in Demacia Shirima. Um, as far as our champions go, Azir was pretty good. It wasn't like absolutely incredible, but it was okay. That's the other thing is like the champions could maybe be a little better. Sivir was actually pretty um, pretty disappointing because just quick attack spell shield um, didn't couldn't get through damage right. Like this can't get through a one one, which that's what like your Demacia challengers can kind of help with. Um, I feel like maybe we need more ways to give Sivir more keywords and and if we're going if we're so if we're going with Sharima with this one suggestion that we had before this game that um I kind of shrugged off but would have been a lot better than Relentless Pursuit would have been Inner Sanctum and so maybe that's something that we could do is go Inner Sanctum create two lucky finds of two buffs and you can get life steal and overwhelm if you're lucky those are like the best but you know you can get a couple of buffs there for Sivir maybe that's something to do like you know that instead of relentless pursuit um because especially if you if you go larger if if you can make sivir even larger and you know kind of focus more on a siphoning strike and focus on golden ambassador and just focus more on sharima cards then the larger it is then the better the other keywords are going to be quicksand was was pretty bad honestly like this is just three mana minus four minus zero that's all it did um I, yeah, so I was not impressed with, with Quicksand in our deck because the it's not it yes it disables keywords but that didn't that didn't matter in any game um, so I, I wasn't very impressed with Quicksand like a card like Repost would have been much better than Quicksand for like just what we had just like just those games but those are things to think about and then if if you do play um, if you do play the Inner Sanctum you know and if you if we go more Sharima we could go uh, like the if we do go the rock hopper instead of bright seal protector then then we got a couple of um a couple of sharima cards and maybe if we can if and a couple of landmarks and so like maybe that makes the plus the plus three plus one card more reliable maybe we can play shape stone instead of sharp sight if we try to keep just going more sharima because i think you could maybe just play these two champions and basically just play sharima and not really play demacia Demacia is probably not even necessary. Maybe even have just a different region for a splash region. All right, but there we go. So that's Sivir Azir. First try at it. Difficult one to build. And we had some really close games that were kind of difficult, a little frustrating, but, um, you know, good games and we learned a lot. And that's what it's all about whenever you're at the beginning of the format. Keep learning, keep playing games, keep watching games. Um, Cause you know, we can see how these different cards interact with each other and everything. And, and that's what we got to, uh, keep doing it's not it's not about wins and losses right now it's all about learning all right but that's it here for Sivir Azir so those y'all watching later on YouTube hit that like button over there leave those comments that stuff that you learned if you got like um got ideas for just you know even a different kind of a Sivir Azir deck but if you got ideas for these two champions let us know um that uh yeah let us know what you got for these two all right, but, um, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.